Let's see. So we're gonna play Legends of Valeria. Well, we're not gonna play it. We're gonna test. We're gonna bug test it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the new game. Uh, yeah, let's start with the tutorial. The game is in early access right now. Zero point zero point five four four. Um. All right. Let's see. I'm a big doof dude. Let's uh. Change around skin color. There's no random button, right? We could use like a random button over here for just the different hairstyles and beards. And I'm short. I don't want a beard. And some dark hair. And it's just a weird haircut. I mean, I'll eat a helmet most of the time, right? Uh, here I said uh, here it's everything uh, like never mind weird unkempt hair that's the way lord wears it bald nah alright let's do that it's just to keep it simple Super muscular? Nah. Wait. It's a lord, right? We gotta make him fat. Oh. <laughs> Childbearing hips on a male. It's great. Alright, so on the male... On the male, it looks like we can make the butt bigger and the hips bigger. Uh, but last time I played the game, we couldn't do that with the female, right? We can only do the torso, which is up top. But as far as, like... Uh, you know, the child bearing hips, I guess gotta add weight to do that, but that's weight, that's that's fat. Okay, that's weird, but uh Alright, just gotta make her somewhat somewhat of an hourglass figure there. Alright, uh all right, back to the mail. Yeah, we're just gonna make him heavy. No muscle, even though he's got no muscle, he's still pretty muscular. I think, you no. Know? Uh, let's mess around with the nose a little bit. Mouse in and out to get to the... To get to the zoom in. Nose width, uh... It's curve. It's curve this nose a little bit. Oh, yeah, get in that boxer's nose. Size, yeah. Boxer's nose. He's been in a couple of fights before. Uh, nose inclination. Oh, no, it's been smashed, right? That's a box nose. Yeah. It's a little short. Uh, not pronounced too much. Nose position, nose flatten. Yeah, it's definitely ugly as sin. You got big lips because they've been bruised a lot over the years. Big jaw, big jaw, yeah. Because he's a he's a manly man with a big jaw. And uh, the chin, give him a small chin. Yeah, small chin. Um, it's pronounced nah, not so much. Yeah. Uh, eye color, it's good. It's changed the eye color to. Oh, that, well, they changed the blue. Last time I played this, is blue was like striking blue. That's that's good. Green, green eyes. That's good. And we're done. And uh, I am Knight Everlasting. How did I? Okay, so I guess somewhere in the typing, I when I hit the R. Uh, yeah, we we got into fighting to the fighting stance when I hit R right here in the uh, <clears throat> character creation screen. So, that's a bug. Alright. Press WASD and shift key to run. Press F1 for help. Okay. So, last time I played this tutorial, whoa. Yeah, oh, oh, press O for the character skills. Last time I played this uh, tutorial, the chest did not work, so I just for 
for gone the um, the tutorial because I couldn't get past it. And right there is the tutorial, the chest. So my quest has been updated, but I just like to. So being that I'm so heavy, it had an actual effect on my cape. That's fantastic. Get a wide butt, so I get a wide cape. And we're just walking around like, uh, you know, in the tutorial to see what we can see and break what we can break. Like, for example, you know, these hinges are not quite on the door, so these doors are floating in midair. Visual effects, you know? It's the little things that count. Helps with the immersion of the game, I think. But let's see what else we can do. I, you know, I didn't remember... Yeah, I don't remember walking around in here. Lesson, because I guess I'm limited. Uh, limited to where I can explore and, and go until I open the chest. So, I guess we're going to press O to open up our character stats. Now, over here, you know, I, I do... Uh, I did play this game before, so I did see, you know, experiment with all these different things. And uh, I really did like the fleet-footed because it gives you that movement speed, but for level one, we just got to start with the warrior. Now, it took me a little bit of uh, trial and error here. The first time around, I did this because there was no there was no instruction as to how do you level this up. Well, skill tree is over here, and over here is this little tiny unlock button. So you have to click on the skill that you want, and then click on the unlock button. Gives you a little star there, which is wonderful. And now the attributes. You start with six attributes, points to add, and 20 prof proficiency skills. But here's the thing. There is no... Oh, they fixed it. Yes, last time I did this, there was no mouse overs. So I'm glad they fixed it. Yay! Uh, bow damage, dexterity, constitution, is health is constitution times five. Oh, fantastic. That's, uh, let's see. Melee damage. Strength. Okay. Charm. And charisma. See? Okay, so glad I didn't put any points in charisma last time. And spirit. Okay, so what's the intelligence? There is no intelligence. No point in intelligence, but so spirit is the is the um, magical attribute. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some strength in there. We're going to put some constitution because I do want to live. And we'll put a spirit point in there. These two are completely useless at the moment. Uh, one more in strength because we want to hit them really hard. Now, proficiencies. Are there any mouse overs here? Uh, melee damage. Okay. Bow damage. Uh, spell damage, obviously, okay. Rogue, coming soon. Leader, I would imagine, be coming soon. And Engineer, I'm guessing, coming soon. Right, okay. So, we're going to be a warrior, because, you know, my name is not Mage Everlasting or Ranger Everlasting. It's Knight Everlasting. But I do want to cast some spells later, so what we're going to do is put a couple, we'll put one point in Mage for now. Okay, so, that's done. And we can just, oh, we got to go press I for the inventory. Now, I like to put everything down here in the bottom corner for now. Because when the game is being played and you want to start selling things to the vendors, the game takes things from the top to the bottom. So uh, the trash is up top. It, it, and what you want to keep is in the bottom right. That's just a personal choice. Uh, let's see, is this mouse over stuff yet? No, nope. can't mouse over this stuff yet. Can we move the character around? Yeah, we can. See that big old butt? Alright. Maybe there could be a right click button over here or something. I mean, uh, we could just take it off. We don't need it right now, but maybe some kind of like hide the 
cape button. Alright, anyway, so that's that's that. Oh, we have to put our equipment in the hot bar. Q for potions, just in case. And I think we're done. Quests. Have a new hope, which is basically to the castles under attack, but they are a little late, and uh, it's time to leave. So I need to take my gear to get out of here. Okay, so let's try to open the chest and see if it's been fixed. Take all. Okay, I took it all. Fantastic. So. I'll take the military sword and actually equip that instead. Uh, so we press R. That's unarmed combat. Press 1 for the... For the fighting, which is great. But, so now that I've updated... I've taken everything from the chest. This is the exact same thing that happened last time the game does not update. Let's turn off combat for now. And we'll just walk around. Well, apparently that's been blocked. Or has it? Can we sneak? Can we jump around it? Oh, can get stuck. Yes! And... So, like I said, we're trying to find little little things that will break the game so our wonderful developers can fix it going forward. Let's see where... So, we'll just continue on our way. We'll sprint a little bit around because this is the first time, actually, that I've seen this. I don't remember venturing this far. Uh, this is... is hello. Yeah, I don't remember. Press E to talk to people. Wow, okay, so it did update. Okay. Sir, our men are fighting downstairs. What's the news of the battle? They broke the main wall, but then they're holding them downstairs. Our soldiers are fighting in the narrow space of the main hall, where they can be... where they can use their archers. Period. No period there. Uh, can we save the Dreadon Castle? No, sir. Uh, wouldn't it be no, comma, sir? Anyway, I'm afraid that it's a lost cause. The castle will fall within an hour, but your orders to retire the bulk of the army to the capital was a wise decision. Our armory still stands, and their losses are staggering. Period period here too. But then they'll attack the capital. I doubt if they'll attack anything. They've lost so many men in the attack that I cannot see how they'll recover. I think that the capital is safe for months to come. But I must leave. Do not let anyone be on the stairs. We shall fight to the last man, sir. Great. My men are suicidal. That's fantastic. All right, press J to open the quests. And I can click on the quests to expand the description. You can track the quest uh, in the... You can press track button to track and stop the tracking a quest in your compass. Which, uh, yeah, I've never done that before, so let's take a look. Uh, quests. Let's track it. Oh, so I'm guessing that's enabled. Yeah, that's enabled. But the the uh, the font is really really hazy right now because I have to play the game on minimal minimal settings. And because I don't know, it's maybe it's because of the, it's still beta. Maybe it's because I have an older system. But I'm thinking it's probably a mix between the two. Right, so let's, let's close that out. Your army is holding, but the enemy will not reach the portal in time. Okay. So, 
let's go ahead and go upstairs and see what we can see. Now, these stairs look a little flimsy, you know? I don't know. It just... That's fine. Just me being a little uh, neurotic. And we'll just run around. Press space and WASD to jump. Okay, great. So I can jump out the hole here. I guess apparently you wanted me to do that. That's good. Can I get back up? Nope, but I am floating. I'm stuck. Yay. I broke the game, guys. <laughs> I'm flicking swimming in midair. It's great. Okay. So this is the first video that I'm doing for the buck testing. And, uh, you know, I plan on making more videos for you guys in the near future. So you guys can actually see what I'm talking about as I play the game and find these little bugs for you. Thanks for making such a great game, guys.